Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing the sound output levels from the exhaust system on my 2017 Chevrolet SS sedan. It's a stock vehicle, stock exhaust with the bimodal valve uh, controlled exhaust in the, in the muffler area. And I'm going to check the output levels to see where it complies with the Cal California Vehicle Code, which has been restricting all exhausts for a very long period of time to 95 decibels. And then um, we'll talk a little bit about AV1824, which is the modification basically the penalty phase of that if you are cited for the noise level what has to be done i'm not going to get into the ab 24 1824 a lot i'm just going to say you know my initial thoughts on it and what it applies to and doesn't apply to so after the intro we'll do the sound test and then we'll talk at the end about the summary of my findings and see what where we're at on this vehicle Please review the automotive information, repair, and modification guidelines on this screen. Seek the advice of a repair professional if you're unsure how to perform any repair or modification safely and correctly. All repairs and modifications are performed at your own risk. Startup of 2017 Chevrolet SS sedan. Left rear exhaust. The mode setting is sport. It's now settled to an idle, so now I'm going to rev it to 2,000 RPMs. Two thousand RPMs achieved. Twenty five hundred. Three thousand. And back to idle. We're now going to run the test of the uh, sound output. I still have it in sport mode, so let me uh, correct that. It's now in tour mode. So the valves in the rear should be closed, so basically one tailpipe on each side is open. And now we're going to rev. 2000 RPM range. Two thousand right there. Twenty five hundred right there. Three thousand right there. And back to idle with tour mode and valves closed and exhaust. So this is tour mode idle, sport mode idle, to compare the two different idle decibel levels. As we can see from the previous two video segments that the Chevy SS sedan's bimodal exhaust complies with the 95 decibel limit here in California. No big shock, it's a fairly new vehicle. To be sold into the state, you have to comply with the requirements for the state. So again, no big shock. 
the thing that I see as the biggest misinterpretation about the recent law change with AB 1824 is people think that the 95 decibel limit was the thing that changed. No, that or one of the things that changed. It didn't change actually with AB 1824. It was always 95, or at least since roughly 2003. I'll put some links down in the description section of this video for the things I've been looking at and like a SEMA article that talks about this as well. And you can see that 95 has been the law for a long period of time. Whether people have decided to comply with that or not is another, another discussion. But if your car is in excess of 95 decibels, you could have been written a citation before this, and but the resolution for it usually was a, some sort of a fix-it ticket where you get it uh, corrected, you'd have someone sign it off, it'd be done. But now with AB 1824, you, if you're cited for excessive noise, the appropriate vehicle codes could trigger you to go to a state referee for your vehicle to be examined and confirm whether it does comply or not. If it doesn't, then you have to correct it and then get tested. There's a lot of time, effort, and potentially money involved here. The ticket itself is, the vehicle code violation is not $1,000, at least not immediately. The first and second violations, I believe I've seen a fee schedule on one of the websites that it would you know, escalate from a low violation count uh, amount of dollars, and then it would start escalating if you're a repeat offender. But the biggest thing that comes in here is the city, county, and court costs that can be quite massive depending on your particular county and city where the citation was issued. You don't want to play around with this one too, too much because you can get quite expensive, and especially if you need legal representation at that point, if, if that's necessary for you. The thing to keep in mind is 95 has been the limit for a while. You might want to get your vehicle tested. I bought a decibel meter, as you saw in this video, fairly cheap. You can always test your vehicle um, yourself, like you know, get it at the right eleva same elevation as the exhaust tips, offset at a 45 degree angle at about 19 and a half to 20 inches at that angle, and then run the test yourself to see if your vehicle doesn't comply. And it's up to you to make that decision whether you want to take the risk if you don't comply. I'm a company based in California. Anything I state should, I have to endorse, uh, tell you to try to follow the law. That's the, what I have to do. Uh, I understand the need or desire to change your vehicle to make it just the way you want it, but that isn't necessarily going to follow the law. Maybe you can modify it so that it does follow it and it sounds the way you want. That's a personal choice that you have to make. I'm not here to debate the modifications or restrictions of modifications here in California. I live here, I have a company based here, I have to comply with it. I just want to make sure you had the information about this uh, modification as far as the AB 1824, what my vehicle, so you have it at least as a reference, anybody that has a Chevy SS sedan. So check the links out in the description section, uh, read it for yourself, understand uh, your vehicle, what you've done and not done to your vehicle, whether it complies or not, and hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you would like to, please subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Please follow Retro Car Guy 530 on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for taking the time to visit the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.